I want to create a 3D camera today and I've actually done so in the past. Let me find that. I think that's actually it. Camera has a view projection and view projection matrix. Camera data to do this has space for one more matrix on my system. Mm, oh God, const inline. Yeah, I remember that stupid C++ garbage. Um, wait, so what am I doing here? I'm just doing the projection matrix. I'm no longer collecting. Uh, collecting. Mm. But that's just the projection, right? Nothing yet. So how do I set the view matrix? The projection is fine. Aspect ratio and field of view. Fine, we can do that. Right, we have to change how depth is being treated there. We have to do... Zero def is far back and one def is in front. So we have to change that. Um, the view matrix is not implemented, right? It's not implemented. Okay, guys. Um, question. No question, actually. Need to check something. Binary. Debug, Swift cake. Ah, so this is it. Um, this is... It's very leggy. Not sure why that's so leggy. Right, so this is my 3D game that I made a long time ago. And it has a, it's very laggy, it's Vulcan, and it basically I can't build the project anymore, so maybe some things changed between Vulcan versions and I'm doing things wrong in a way. Basically I can zoom in and out and I can look at, and I need to figure out the code where I use the mouse to change the look at matrix. So basically we have to figure out where in this piece of code I use the camera. Uh, this is going to be annoying because I don't even have like cakes is the engine. I don't know why I called it cakes guys All right. Hi, is the project progressing? How's the project progressing? Good. We made choosing a monitor today in the game Watch no not choosing a monitor uh, We made We, we made the wait, wait. We can now choose between windowed mode and full screen borderless uh, using a drop-down menu and the next thing will be total full screen, like real full screen. All right, I wonder. Oh, oh, I hate that. Okay, there's not even a clear entry point. You know, that's the issue. We just have source. I guess it's somewhere in the renderer. Vulcan, oh God, Vulcan base, Vulcan context. See, this is why I have one file for the renderer, guys. This is why I have one file. Init buffers, oh god. This is just ridiculous to find anything in this oop garbage. Goodness. It's gotta upload stuff to the GPU. Render. Begin base function. Prepare. Command buffers. <laughs> Render meshes. Okay, begin. What is in begin? Vulcan base. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Vulcan base function. Yeah, where's the implementation of that? See, this is why I don't do OOP anymore. Like, I can't read it like a book. It's absolutely atrociously bad. Even if this makes sense. Now, where do I do camera? It's gotta be in begin or in prepare. Prepare meshes, particles, global data. Maybe that. Mem copy, global UBO. No. That is not it. Unless... <sighs> I need to open this in a, as a, like a VS Code file. So this entire thing has to be opened using VS Code. Otherwise, I, I just can't figure out anything with this dog shit. 
All right, so we need to somehow find the look at function. Pretty sure I have look. I don't have look at. Maybe it's look at. GLM look at. There we go. Editor camera view matrix. It's a GLM look at function. Aha. Camera position. We can't even find the camera position. Editor camera. 3D editor camera. Aha. Uh -huh. Editor camera. Okay, where's that? It has a calculate view matrix. Plo tell me. Okay, that's the look at. We need the view matrix. And then we have a camera position, a camera front and a camera up. Pitch raw, pan speed, pan mode. All right. Okay. This is a lot. On mouse pan, on mouse rotate, on mouse button down, on mouse button up, or mouse scroll. All right. So what do we do on mouse pan? We set the camera position, delta, speed, camera up, delta, speed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Camera up is the up vector. Y up. Camera front is... I guess that. Uh, Coder Dev, uh, thank you very much for following. You're on Twitch too? Yeah, I'm on Twitch too. Uh, programming my game and currently we're programming a Minecraft clone. So in order to do a camera, it is always easy. The most easiest thing to do is to... Oh yeah, the editor camera is a camera. Of course it is. To copy the data. So how about we take this. Right, we yoink that stuff and put it into our own Minecraft and J. But we do it better here. We go to the GL, not the GL renderer, the renderer interface. Where we have rendering constants and rendering structs. We have a vertex. And then the next thing would be a camera or a 3D camera, which is a struct. And then we put the data in here. So we need a position, right? So that would be a vector R3. Then we need a front. Oh, my bad. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much for the support, bro. I really appreciate it. Uh, a front, an up vector. Nice. Then we need a pitch and a yaw. Yaw for rotation. So float. Oh no, a pitch. Float. And yaw. So float too. And I guess we could do a sensitivity. Um, and then I suppose a fly speed, which is also a float. And then the pan mode. Uh, yeah, let's get not. Let's not get into that. 3D camera struct. Why is that not working? Huh? Oh, camera 3D. I see we can't start with a three. Eh? Why is it f complaining now? Can I not use float? Ron is first day as a programmer, clueless about basic grammar rules. Camera 3D. Why is it not working here? Do we have one already? Redeclaration. Wait. We already have a camera 3D? Eh? Wait, no. No, 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 no. Camera 3D is a better name anyways. Hello, it's me, your fan. <laughs> Hello, man. You already have the game? 
No, I, uh, for some reason this this hey this jails.json file is dog shit. Maybe it's this file. Yeah, it's jails.json. No, it's not. JK. Go to go to declaration. You think it's already there? Wait. There's no declaration. See that? Oh my god, tell me, tell me this. Okay. Stop. I don't understand. Yeah, this is the one downside about Jay. It doesn't have proper Visual Studio Code support. And I'm just a Visual Studio Code enjoyer. What can I say? I know I have a bunch of problems with this shit, but I'm a Visual Studio Code enjoyer, so it is how it is. It works, it compiles, so fine. Let's test something really quickly. It won't compile because it doesn't understand what Vertex is. So, uh, there is no declaration. Undeclared identifier. Oh, yeah. It's test colon equals. No, wait. How is that done? Colon camera 3D. This, right? Yeah. So basically, this IntelliSense thing is not working properly. It doesn't find the vertex, but it finds camera 3D. Which is a bit odd. It doesn't find camera 3D, so it's not defined anywhere. I was I would have been oops, I would have been surprised if it was defined somewhere. So camera 3D is not defined. This thing is just lying to me. That's okay, fine. Now we need a function. And it's probably I should probably get that here. Rendering functions. Or maybe rendering utility. first that would be the uh, would return a so that would be what was it calculate inverse projection matrix right and that takes in some data maybe a camera 3d right camera camera 3d and it returns me a matrix 4. Um, not sure why this complains now. Isn't it correct? Isn't this correct? Am I done? Is it the other way around here? Am I stupid? Eh, guys, what am I doing wrong? Ah, oh, yeah, of course. I forgot the colon colon because it's a constant. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just turn off IntelliSense, lol. Everything is name colon colon. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now we have this calculate inverse projection matrix. And I have absolutely no idea how that is done. But I remember from my code that... Um... Where's that? Inverse projection. The inverse projection. <sighs> Editor, okay. It doesn't find the camera, right? Um, goodness, is that annoying? All right, a camera is in core camera. Well, maybe it's easier if I do source core. I don't have source, of course. It's called cakes. <laughs> Fine. 
<laughs> it's a core camera. Where is that? Am I blind? CoreCamera.h Ah, here. And then we have the Calculate Inverse Projection. This. Very nice. So that's what we need to do in order to calculate this correctly. True, for struct initializers, they have the dot right type dot value value. All right, so what do we have here? We don't have const. Dollar equals. Right, so aspect ratio, where is that coming from? The camera. So we need more data here. We need the field of view. FOV, that's a float. And we need the aspect ratio, which is also a float. And then we can and camera, we can index that. Aspect ratio. And range, bottom range. Okay, so we don't, oh, we need the camera of you there we go ah yeah and then dot f i wonder if it knows that it should use a float this is how you do it in j right i can say that this is a float this is a float and this is a float right do they allow to create a v rule in the switch expression switch thingy Cakes, your sneezing is so weak. TK would be ashamed. Sneezing is weak. Yeah. We, we, uh, is TK sneezing like a crazy man? Alright, so now that we have those, we need to create a projection matrix. That projection matrix is a matrix for. Uh, hopefully zero initialized please and then we need to index into that projection matrix might not need it this is Vulcan specific inverse y yeah might not need that and then we return the projection matrix now let's see if this actually works no, it does not. Because I said aspect ratio. And then I cannot index into the projection matrix using 0, 0, undeclared identifier. Man, Jay is getting... <sighs> Why not? Isn't that the most basic way to index into a matrix? Why is that not... Is the matrix for something different? Am I stupid? Shouldn't I be able to index into this? I have to say, man, this is where Odin would probably be like much easier and faster. Why can I not index into... So I have to use those float vectors? I suppose. Hopefully it is the correct float vectors okay so essentially dot zero zero right dot underscore and it doesn't tell me one one so that's the first one why is it one one not zero zero you don't even have to make one matrix and even quaternions are built in Odin has matrix built in you would be complaining about Odin and Jay would be faster if you choose that. No, I've never complained about Odin, actually. You're wrong. I don't know what you're saying there, but you're totally wrong. Um, guys, why is it 1-1? One, one? Maybe that's just how people see it. 
But for programming, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But fine. So, 1-1. One, one, then that is 2-2. Two, two. Then that is 2-3. Maybe it's not implemented yet, right? It also, like, it lets me... Uh, uh, no, no, not, not lets me. It's... Uh, wait, 1-1. One, one. Now I'm confused. Shit. 0-0. Zero, zero. So 1-1 one, one is 2-2. Two, two. 2-2 two, two. again, times equals. Mm -hmm. There we go. Asian rest, stop being wrong. Nia Cakes has never complained about anything. <laughs> Shut up. You went off by one mid ways through the matrix. I... Oh, fuck. Did I? I was. So this is 2, 3-4, uh, right? And then this is... 4, 2, uh, 4, 3. And then this is 2, 2. So wait, so 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, and 2, 2. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, what is this 1, 1? I don't know why they don't have indexes like, like normal, but fine. Like... <sighs> I'm allowed to say my own opinion, right? I think this is annoying. I think it should be like a normal matrix, okay? I'm holding myself back. I'm holding myself back already. You know, I know that like some dumbass opinion from some dumbass developer, you know, who has like only three years of experience in C++ might not matter much, but listen, man. Give me fucking indices, okay? That's just my own opinion, all right? Built. It built. Clip it and send it to blow. No, please don't. I believe you can do projection matrix dot floats. Floats too. You mean QF? I can do QF. But uh, these are row vectors. QF. It's QF. Do you use lemon on a schnitzel? No, I don't. Guys, I have a hotter topic than pineapple on pizza. I don't use. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's just use this for now. Honestly, I prefer the 2-2 syntax. Less typing. Yeah, we'll see. Right. This hopefully works. Now that we have the inverse projection matrix, we need to create an MVP. Model view projection matrix. The model matrix will just be one for now. We won't be scaling anything, right? Um, so we'll leave that for now. So we need a view matrix now. For that... We need to we did another we need another function calculate view matrix right that takes in a camera 3d and it returns us a matrix 4 right so let's make a matrix here really quickly actually i think it's just return we found look at look at yesterday didn't we let me open up another VS Code or J directly. I think we already have what we need. Yeah, make look at matrix. A viewpoint, a look at vector and an up vector. An axis forward, true. Matrix 4. Maybe we should do this. And it is in matrix.j, which is in math. So we should have this already. Maybe. I'm saying maybe because... 
Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. So what do we have here? Make look at matrix. It needs a viewpoint. So basically a point to look at, right? Oof. Where do we look at? We have a position. What is a viewpoint, guys? Is that actually the point where we are? So that would be camera dot position. I think viewpoint is the position. And then the look at vector is the front, right? The front. By the way, I need to copy the default values here. I wonder if that works from the other camera. So for example, a camera.h has a field of view of 70. And then I think the aspect ratio is calculated from that. No, we put that in here, I guess. You already have front, so look at position plus front. I already have front. So basically it's position plus the front. But if I... No, I think the the view vector is basically like a vector from your position and it can rotate around up and down left and right so this is what i think is front front is the point from this point to this point and if yeah so basically it's another point in space which that's different than yeah camera front what is that Camera front right now is X to the left. Viewpoint, the world position where your camera is. Yeah, okay. And then the look at, that would be the point. Yeah, forward is this then. So, wait. Oh, I mean, that's a, that's a doozy here. Let's put this to the left. And it's normalizing that too, so it doesn't matter if the viewpoint or the look at point is far away. Right? The not cake skin, but my this one here. Matrix J. So this is what we have. Hmm. Inverse projection, aspect ratio, camera, camera, yeah, this is supposed to be a colon here. Mm. Make look at, look at, so that's the point where we're looking at right now. We have a position and the front. Um, oh, it's so confusing, bro. Let me put this to the right so I don't destroy everything. Front. God, I'm so confused. Holy shit. Uh, I'm so fucking confused. Like, eh? Where's camera.h again? Here it is. Uh... Wait, no, camera.cpp. That's what I want. No. Eh? Editor. Okay. Camera front. Camera position. Camera up. Front up. Okay, so. Like front would be, not sure why, but one to the left, zero up and zero. 
I feel like... I don't know why, but that's what just what it is. And then the up vector is 0, 1, 0, right? We go up here. And then the position would just be 0, 0, 0 in the origin. Uh, pitch and yaw would both be 0. Sensitivity... I guess it's one. Fly speed, I guess it's one as well. Right now, whatever. Uh, aspect ratio has to be computed when we create a camera. And field of view too. But I guess field of view, we can set that as a default of 70. Okay, and then aspect ratio has to do with the world size. Dot X divided by a world size that y. I wonder if this is even possible. Looks like it is. Maybe not. Let's get rid of this here. It doesn't allow me to use the constant world size x and y in a default parameter for float, unfortunately. Guys, aspect ratio is x divided by y. Is that correct? Or is it y divided by x? Does anyone of you know that? The front should be calculated depending on the pitch in your right. Yes. Fuck. X divided by y. So unfortunately, the default procedures are... Wait. Non-imperative declarations can only be initialized to constant values. So this has to be const? Why? Fine, we'll just calculate that then. It's fine. I don't know, I don't understand this error too much. Um, but I guess when we create a camera, we have to set the aspect ratio ourselves. That's fine. Cool. The operation makes it not const. Okay. That's fine. Now, let's make the view matrix, right? Make look at matrix. So, we the look at vector is the camera look at, or the camera front. I think. And I think we can uh, take a look at this really quickly here. When I pan, right, in the editor camera. When I pan, then I create a camera forward and a camera right. And then I, the camera position, wait. Oh no, that's pan. Um, rotation, direction. Okay, so there it is. On mouse rotate, we have a delta rotating in X and Y. And then it basically changes the pitch and yaw. And then based on the pitch and yaw, we create a direction. And that direction is then calculated as a camera front and as a camera up. Yeah. So that is how we will do rotation. I've done this before, thankfully. Um, and it worked. So we'll do the same thing here as well. Cool. But before we do any rotation, first we need to have a default camera. I, uh, Excuse me. So that would be the camera front. Yeah. And then the reference up vector would be the camera up. And then I don't know if forward is true. I don't know X is forward. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I have no clue. All right. And then we call this function. We don't declare it. Now, potentially, potentially, this is everything we need to do to have a camera in the game. Now, all we have to do, potentially is to take the vertex shader and create a new input uh, what is it guys what is it called ah. guys what are what is data called in opengl it's not a buffer why do i forget these basic names it's like basically a matrix for 
in there. Uniform, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uniforms. Yeah. So we want a mat 4. Uh, that is the projection. And then we want a mat 4. That is the view. And those two, I wonder uh, how they are being defined. Let's go to... Goodness. Vertex shader, oh god. Meshes vert, I think it's here. Constants. Okay, we have the model and the... We have the model, <coughs> which is a matrix four. Uh oh. Oh god. What am I doing here? <coughs> mm. Oh, we even had sun. No. Camera data. Ah. So we take the view projection times the model, which would basically be, and then times the. In position. Ah, view projection. Okay. Oh, great. So now we have to find the view camera data. Control shift if dot cam camera data. Camera data equals. Okay, where do I set that? Never? Come on. Ah, projection times view. Okay, so that's what we are interested in. All right, so projection times view. <coughs> Let's open the Terraria clone one more time. More Terraria clone. I forgot how to do uniforms. So uniform mat four. All right. I knew I forgot something. Uniform. All right, so now that we have those uniforms, I can get rid of this. But we need to find those by name. And then index them. So what do we have here? We have a projection ID. And I want a view ID. All right, let's make the projection ID first. Mm. Fuck. Where is that? Ah, get uniform location. Okay, we have geo context dot projection ID and geo context. dot view id we get uniform location based on the geo context wait where do i create the program ah it's here i don't store that here all right that's fine for now we get it from the program id and we want a pro projection and we want view Let's see if this works. Uh, GL program ID. Yeah. Good. Let's see if the game runs first. There's probably some issues, but okay. And uh, are you finding... Can Guys, can we not debug Jay? You're telling me I can't debug Jay? No, I, I got to. Are you telling me I can't debug J? Finally was able to catch a stream. Hello Daniel G, good morning. You're telling me I cannot debug it? This got to be the language, right? We did, we, there's no way we didn't debug J before. You should be able to. Well, I have the language server, but I don't have J. Let's see, J syntax highlighting language support. May uh 
This is old. So maybe the language still? Do I still need the language? Is Jay, Jay is strongest feature is S2D support for game labs? Jay's strongest feature is game development, yes. I hope. I mean, we're trying it right now. And it does have a lot of stuff, like for example, an inbound or a built-in view matrix calculation. Now we'll test it now, right? We're getting to it. Fine, then I will... Syntax highlighting. Highlighting language inside Harris string with the language D. Which lets you nicely embed shaders. Uses markdown for doc strings. Common text plus checklists. Really cool. Autocomplete instructions. Wait. Wait, do I even need the other one then? If the language does all of this, do I even need to have the other one? It seems like the language is the best. And the language server is no longer needed, bro. I don't remember who gave that to me. But let's just disable this, right? And then do Control shift b reload window. Right. And maybe... Maybe... I can't jump into this. I cannot jump to functions. Alright, so we do need the other extension to jump to functions. And then the current extension, I would assume, is for... I don't actually know what that's for, to be honest. Because it doesn't work. Thank you very much for following, uh, Dev, Alex, and uh, CGM. Thank you very much for following earlier, too. Um, what is better, VS Code or Visual Studio uh, 2022? Uh, whatever is better for you, bro. There is no best editor out there. You know, whatever works for you is the best for you. I can't really give you an opinion on Visual Studio because I don't like it. But that doesn't mean it's not good. Real Super Cool is using it. And he's been happy. Maybe not perfectly happy, but he's been happy, right? As happy as you can get, I guess. So, and some other other people use 10x editor or whatever that editor, that editor is called. Some other people use NeoVim and swear by NeoVim. Uh, what I guess you could do is just try out these different editors and see for yourself if you like them or not. Don't you use Fakoda anymore? And some even use Fallooza. I did use Fakoda, I liked it, but uh, at some point it just got annoying to use. Unfortunately, it's not being developed any further. There's many things that is annoying about the editor. It is also nice, but also annoying. So it was just go back to Visual Studio Code. It didn't really work out in the end. It was a nice try. I've been using it for a long time. But in the end, it was too much hassle to change things. And I'd rather just use the basics. I don't need any fancy things. I just need the basics. At the end of the day, what is most important is knit. Not knit. <laughs> it's not how you get there, but that you get there. the end product and uh, no like it is important how you get there don't get me wrong but by your own means not how other others tell you what to do um yeah so i guess we need the language server still where's that is that at the very bottom okay enable that again Control shift p reload window what does the other thing do then? Just give me debugging support? I can't debug, guys. I cannot debug J. Maybe it's because of the... Launch.json? CPP vs debug and I have to use a different one? I'm confused. Let me check. 
Terraria Clone, VS Code Launch.json, CPP Debug, Tasks.json, MS Compile. Um, I can't debug J anymore, guys. It doesn't let me debug. I don't know what changed in Visual Studio Code, but something is. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I can't debug J anymore now? Are you fucking real? Wait, could we even debug J? Guys, I don't think I ever debug J. How do you run the executable? Have you tried the rat debugger? I can debug J and Odin. The rat debugger, what is that? You could, you did. Not in here, maybe. I think I used Visual Studio to debug. I think I used Visual Studio. Oh my god, I should have used Odin then. There's no way, right? That there's no debugging capabilities. I must be wrong about this. There has to be something. Jay. Language support. Like, why do you not see it is updated? Published, last released. Oh god. No, that's a long time ago. So that one's old. Restart the project. Feature syntax highlighting. Just restart or we'll always fix. Fine, we'll restart. We'll restart all of it. We'll see. I mean, we are we have a PDB file here, right? So it's simply no, I can't. I don't know if Jay has a debugger. It's not released yet. So Rod has a false debugger made by Epic Games. Oh man. I think what we did back then was use this other application, guys. What is it called? The crazy debugger. I think we use that. Isn't debugging supposed to be a huge benefit in using J? Could have sworn by they had it. Well, maybe not in Visual Studio Code, but the other one. Guys, what is the other one called? Uh, that 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 everyone is talking about. That Remedy BG. Yeah, Remedy BG. Yeah, I still have that. Maybe that's it. Session. New. No shit. Um, wait, how do we do this? Open a source file. Right? How do we do this again? Session. An application. Display name. Minecraft in J. Now I'm pretty sure I just have to find the folder. The executable and then it has the working directory no arguments i think and normal entry point environment i don't know any settings not sure and then save as the settings file for remedy bg oh. um i guess i Session command, pick the executable. Session command, pick the executable. Yeah, I want to save that. But I don't know where I put the remedy files. I think it was on Spielentwickler. And then under R, right? Remedy. There we go. Ah! VS Clone. VS Videos, Schnitzel, Motor, Cake City, Test Builder. Huh, so, but it's not Terraria Clone. Weird. Um, okay, F5. Uh, let's see. Then open a source file. 
Let's see, Minecraft and J. Main.j. I can't debug. Wait, I can. I wonder. It works. It looks like. Window equals. Guys, I think it works. GL in it while it's running. F11. Goes into window. It even goes here. Finds that file. Clear color. Screen size. I can take a look at this. So we can debug. Thank God I have Remedy BG. Yeah, Bonnie Montana gifted me that a long time ago. Without that... A fake J just produces PDBs for debug info, so it should work literally in any debugger. Yeah, then why does it not work? Wait, I want to test something. Uh, I don't have the, the vaults for Terraria and J anymore. I think. I remember uh, yeah, you, I made like a video, right? About Terraria and J a long time ago. Aha. Uh -huh. What is here? Wait, I did debug. What's going on? glrenderer.j, a breakpoint in VS Code. Then why can I not do this anymore? Sometimes going full caveman can be only way though when debugging changes. Microsoft kick. Why can I not debug in here? Maybe it doesn't recognize these J files as programming files. Is there a way to add? Maybe VS Code needs a settings file? Wait. Let me check. This is Minecraft in J. Right? Let's open Terraria clone. No, I couldn't do that here either. I can no longer set breakpoints here either. Why? So like settings, JSON, something? The language, J, path to executable. What's wrong with using GM Remedy? Nothing, but I would like to understand why it doesn't work in Visual Studio Code anymore. Because I would love to stay in this editor and not deviate. Of course I can deviate, but I would love it to be here. Oh man, are you kidding me? Is there no way? Launch.json LLDB Maybe LLDB? Tasks? J MS Compile? Nah. Remedy is really nice. File associations in the settings.json. File associations. Am I blind? You can try add it to yourself. And then? Why is this complaining? Eh? Oh, I see. And then that is supposed to be... Yeah, but what is that supposed to be? CPP or something?
No, it treats it as a C++ file. I can't do that. J. I can't. I still can't set breakpoints. get the language back i think it adds the associations i did but maybe i need to uninstall i did actually though look um there we go we have the j language server maybe i have to disable this but i actually i did and the language maybe i didn't read everything here the language project file. Place in a settings file to override the default user settings. Project file. The extension provides rename definition reference provider sees work using the compiler, so you need to set the compiler location extension. Setting. The path to the executable. If you want to use them in the project, then you'll need to use to tell the extension what your rootj file is for the project, i.e. the file. To, call, to build the project. To do so, the project folder in the project folder make a VS Code settings file. If the file sets up its own workspace, then compiling will need to get these workspace cooperatives. Uh, okay, I mean uh, settings.json file. C. Can't I just do main.j? Will it search here? Let's see. Do I really have to do C? That's really annoying. Can I not do... No, that doesn't work. Can I... I still can't use this. Maybe I need to remove the language, restart, and do it again. Do I have like... No, not this, bro. Do I have a notification? No notification. Close. Close. J. No, not J. Um, VS Code. What does it say in the bottom right status bar? What kind of file it thinks it is? It thinks it is a plain text file. Um, not sure what I should start using here. Yeah. Second topmost option. Configure file as situation. Okay, wait. Wait, we don't have the language right now i think i need to install that first <sighs> dot j hurry up here we go install okay it is now here and then i need to go into the j files right oh it, con it configured that it says it's a J file now. Hey, wait, I'll move my camera so you guys can see. See that at the bottom below me? It says it's a J file now. So it seems to work, but however, it doesn't seem to actually work. So what should I do here? Select the language mode to associate with .j. C++? Maybe the language mode. What does that mean? The language mode. J. Current association. What if I press F5, by the way? It just runs. 
I assume not being able to set the debug is because of the CPP debug instead of LLB, just a guess now. Yeah, we could try. Um, maybe. Right. It doesn't look like it, though. No. That's not it either. And it, it doesn't find it either. It is basically just checking for something else, I think. <sighs> Maybe it's settings or JSON. Maybe that's it. LLDB can't use PDB file. Why does it no longer work? Man. Minecraft and J. The main dot J. Jason with comments. Mm -hmm. No. Well, we can take a look at the settings, Jason, here. We have this, the J executable. But that is correct. The language project file, maybe that has to go. Guys, I have a feeling that the other extension that we installed fucked it up. I have a feeling that the other extension that we installed over the internet fucked up the debugging capabilities. Because that's the only thing I changed. I still had the language, but we also installed the language server. And so maybe this thing did something bad. And now we can't debug anymore. Is it a debug build? It is a debug build, yeah. Because we have a PDB file here. I just don't understand. Now you need to uninstall Windows and reinstall it for it to work. Oh man, these fucking problems with Jay really piss me off, man. Because, like, I hate this t type of setup stuff. There should just be one extension and yeah, I guess it's not out yet. I, I see, I see. Yeah, it's not out yet. I, I get it. But bro, why does it no longer work? Did I get... Mm. And none of you guys have, a, have an idea either, right? It's a VS Code issue. Yeah, I know, but... And I always have these issues with VS Code. It's a problem with the third-party extensions. These aren't made by Jonathan Blow. I know, I know that. I know that. But it worked last time. Why does it not work anymore? Ah, this fucking sucks, guys. It's really putting the wind out of me, not being able to debug. Yeah, I have to say, like, I'm sorry, guys, that this is, like, vibing off, but I could be programming so much more easily and more fun, having much more fun, if the shit just would just work normally. Sorry, very sorry about this, but it's, it's actually really pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Because I hate that. 
I just hate this. How can this simple thing not work? Why does it not work here? Why does it not work here? What is the reason that Visual Studio Code doesn't get it? Just use Remedy BG, it's 10 times better anyway. I hate it though. I don't like using it. It's just, that's just my preference, bro. I just don't like Remedy. I, of course I could use it. If you hate tinkering with stuff so much, why are you using VS Code anyways? Because it's the best solution for me, bro. There's no other better solution. Did you try to change the things in the references? File preference settings and then search for debug allow breakpoints everywhere. It might not be the proper way, but perhaps it could fix what you're looking for. Did God help you? Yeah. Goodness. Thank goodness. Finally. Very abroad change from I hate this to yes. Well, is it working though? Projection ID. Guys, it works. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. What is this shit? It's banana. All right, I need a banana really quickly. I guess you're welcome, bro. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. Jindu. Mmm. Nails? <laughs> What's wrong with you guys and nails? Stop using nails. Stop giving Inukai power, Daniel. You're just giving Inukai more power. Hmm. Fucking crappy editor. I wonder how Cakes is able to program without chat. He would be so lost. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I would Google. Oh. Hmm. We have another banana. I need another banana. I have earned another banana. Okay. We have earned another banana because you know why I'm eating bananas right now? You know that? Because I'm 99.999% certain that it will work now. You know? I don't understand why this projection is not being found. By this. Not sure why. Copy. Maybe I misspelled it. You know, paste. But it looks correct to me. 
All right, so um, why does it not find this uniform, guys? Did it not build? F5. Why do you not find the uniforms? Huh? Oh, it finds the... Yeah, the view ID and the projection ID are both... Zero. Why? Maybe because the shaders are detached already? Is that the reason? Can I only do this before I detach the shaders? That would be odd. The bot doesn't know that something like coffee exists. It checks the message. Message has TTS command and checks the whitelist. And if the user has found it, reads the message. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, okay, fine. Wait, view ID. Wait, project. Why is it minus one? Guys, what am I doing wrong? Isn't it get uniform location? Isn't this how I. Huh? Wait a minute. Open Cakes Framework. Go into any vertex shader. And then have. We, we do have uniforms. Yeah. Uniform ortho. Ortho projection? Alright, ortho projection. And then in the GL renderer. Get uniform location. Hä? Do you have the shader attached? Yeah. Sorry, uh, goodness, that was crazy. Was that better, Aizen? Like, I wasn't playing, but is it better? Better sneeze, better sneeze. You have to use them in the shader or they get optimized away. Oh, I see. You unused uniform, I see, I see, I get it now. Fine. All right, okay, so let's use them in the shader. We have the position for the vertex. And then we multiply that by, and we figured that out earlier. The view and then the projection, right? Multiply that by view and then projection. And then in the geo renderer, we need to make a matrix and set the view projection. Camera 3D. Aspect ratio is world size dot x divided by world size dot y. And then. Um, Projection is calculate inverse projection matrix using the camera. And then uh, view would be calculate view matrix using the camera. Right, and then um, I forgot how to do that in OpenGL, of course. Set uniform, I think. No. Uniform location, yeah. How do we set the data? Totally forgot that. GL frame buffer. Cakes, did you check if there is any new event log files in the bot directory? I'll check. To which bot? Binary, debug, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't write any. Bro, I don't know why, but it doesn't, doesn't write any. Last error log. 
Maybe that. But it doesn't write any event logs. That's really weird. Maybe it's because everything is now here and no longer in like here. Maybe it is a path problem of C sharp. That's what it feels like to me. Like, I hate these dumbass paths. I don't know why they would force you on this. Shouldn't be. But I can give you the last error log. It is an unhandled exception. Throw substring. Maybe this helps. Uh, with a timestamp, maybe. 658. Maybe it was because I closed something, though. Could also be. Um, let me give that to you really quickly. There we go. that you know you're not supposed to do this give me a second mark on red then go over here and then go over here we go okay cool all right um let's get back to this um buffer data where is this bind bloom frame buffer Oh wait, this is just initializing stuff. Okay, GL renderer. Where do I set uniforms? GL uniform, I see, matrix V4, I see. That's what we need to do. All right, so in J, we need to do GL uniform matrix V4. Not sure why it doesn't find that as a function. And then uh, it asks us for the ID. That would be the GL context projection ID, right? Yes. GL context projection ID. We want one. And then we want the matrix, which is the proj dot data or something. Wait, it was a matrix, right? Matrix has. I don't know what I like the floats, I guess. Matrix dot floats. Dot on zero, I guess. Shouldn't this be a pointer? No? this work oh yeah and then over here we have to do colon equals projection of floats oh yeah on zero and then it completes it com complains it wanted a float pointer so this aha okay cool now we have this and then we can use the view id and then uh, use the view floats. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I think we can actually... It's probably going to be invisible. It is going to be invisible, guys. Yeah, so that means either the camera is in the wrong forward location or... It is actually invisible. How do we know that? We need to test with render doc, I think. Hopefully. Minecraft. We are deep inside so deep. Yeah, it's difficult to say where the... Maybe we are inside it. It could also be, yeah. And we are looking outside. There is something behind us that is stretched into infinity. It looks like. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it's 
in the correct perspective. All right, how do we get a normal projection matrix? Do they have a projection matrix in J? There's got to be... We have a lookout matrix, right? So they should have projection as well. As well. Orthographic projection? Projection matrix. Field of view, aspect ratio, horizontal over vertical, Z near, Z far, offset. Hey guys, let's use this function. Cool. We have a function available to us that we can use. So instead of my function, why don't we use theirs? Right? Holy shit. Calculate. Projection matrix using a camera camera 3D and it returns a matrix 4. All right, so what do we do? We need the field of view, which takes the camera's field of view. And then the aspect ratio. Yeah. And then the Z near and Z far. Guys, Z near is zero, right? And Z far is one. And then the offset, that would be the position, right? X offset, that would be camera.position.x and camera.position.y. Never use zero for near. Not zero. Z near should not be zero. Then what should Z, uh, Z near be? Hmm? 0.03 or something? Zero is wrong. Tiny values will result in Z fighting. Okay, then we do 0.03. All right, let's try that. Calculate the projection matrix. Okay, now that we have these, this uh, projection matrix, what I would love to do is, since this camera is created on the stack, I would like to feed this camera into this GL context here. And then in GL init, or every frame, I want to calculate the aspect ratio. Yeah. Geocontext.camera and then we need to use that here. Okay. And then in the main the J we have this update loop, right? So if we have a case dot W, uh, what, what was it again? There we go. If we have a key press where we have a W key press, how does that work? A case colon. Uh, how do we do this? A GL context dot camera dot position dot it's a 3d position now actually which do which one do we change is it the z position plus equals one w a that's the x position But maybe it's minus. 
And then your forward X is on X, so X to back out. The forward is on X. No, no, it would be WASD movement. Cakes, I can't help but notice that your chat gets actually helpful and not toxic at all when you're doing some interesting stuff. Nails. Ooh. W should move in the look direction. True. But right now, I just want to move in one axis. So W would change the Z axis, I think. Right? Because X is left, right? Y is up, down? Yeah. So, let, let me try that. W, A, S. S would be the opposite of W. So, minus here. Yeah, chat is actually really nice. They just don't like to admit that. You know, Mr. Inukaya. You should maybe... Uh, Du solltest dir mal eine Scheibe davon abschneiden, Bro. And eat it. Alright. Just saying. Okay, brother. And then we have two more. Which is... R and F. R is up. And F is down. Right, and that would be the Y axis. Oops. Deutsch? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. True. See, I, guys, I got a follower because I'm German. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. I'm always nice. Just misunderstood. Isn't the order of multiplication of matrices in, sir, inversed in GLSL? We'll see. You know, we'll see. If it is or not. Invaders? Oh yeah, wrong. Actually wrong. Uh -oh. Project. Oi. Alright, now the camera should move and we should see hopefully. Um it we don't have a notion of delta time, guys. We need delta. Um, fuck, we need delta time. Um, how do I get delta? How did I do this in, in, uh, in J? Not in J. Not this. Visual Studio Code. Terraria clone. Terraria clone, delta time. Last time, oh, it was actually very easy. Last time, new time, delta time. Very simple. God, I love this. It's awesome. Okay, cool. Boom. 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 Now, delta time could be something here. And then we have access to this everywhere, which means we can multiply that by. And then I suppose we can do a... It's bad right now, right? Does this work? GL context. We don't have speed. Sucks. Camera, what do we have? It's fly speed. Okay, fine. Should be called fly speed. Yoink. Guys, we almost have it. Just a little bit more. Just wait. I know you have been patiently waiting to see the cube. Me too. Me too. Me too. 
I wanna see the cube, bro. Get time? Huh? What? Deprecated, this is uh, name is old. Use second since in it instead. Get time, use seconds since in it instead. Okay. Do I use this multiple time? Times? Cool. See, this is awesome. I love the love this about Jay. The he's really trying hard to uh, make sure that the error messages are as clear as possible. Stats for workspace, target program, wonder what that means. All right, let's see. Oh, I can't see, shit. Okay, so it definitely moves. But I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, oh. Not sure what that means. Uh, uh. Make the window bigger? The window doesn't do anything to that. It just scales. So, guys, we see something. But I don't know what that means. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh. <laughs> it's difficult to say because we don't have any shading going on, right? Looks like you goofed up the order in the shader. Maybe. If that's it. So should we do projection times view? No one of you what? View times projection. Yeah, but I did. And then times the position or the position times the view. Huh? That doesn't look right to me. Two more days to finish the rest. The projection times the view times the position. Aha. So this stuff is at the end. I get it now. Okay, thank you. View projection or projection times view times model. Oh! It does look like it works, but I wonder what that is. So this is up and down. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Cakes, for the love of God, fix the D. Clause in your camera, move input. Fix the D clause. The D? Oh. Yeah, thank you. I didn't see that, bro. Thank you. Beautiful cube. Nice bar. Yeah, we have a Snickers bar, guys. Hello, Poppy the doggo. Long time no see. Hey, uh, Chrono, the Newton. Hey, why not use Godot? It has great dogs and community. I did use Godot. But then I almost killed my computer because I got so angry at the UI that I had to stop, bro. Um, can't really tell. I can't really tell. Maybe the projection matrix is broken, but it's Jonathan Blow's projection matrix. Guys, how do we know? That the projection matrix works. Huh? How do we know that? 
So what do we need for the projection matrix? Render interface. Here's the code. Um, make projection matrix. I love this. Here are the, the fields that we need to fill in. We need a vertical field of view. We have 70. We have a Z near. A Z far. We have an offset. And then a depth range, which by default is false. Jay's projection matrix wasn't working for me. I did my own. Okay, so it didn't work for you, unfortunately. Okay. Where's this coming from, by the way? Hmm. It's out commented out. So maybe it's not done yet. Maybe it's just not done yet, guys. Leave, leave the offsets at zero instead of the camera. I do. The camera by default is on position zero. Cranky. Jokes on you. Jokes doesn't mean anything to cakes because you won't read them. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> I think we are inside the cube. For field of view is degrees or radiance. I don't know to be honest. Maybe the field of view is... I have no clue what you're supposed to use here. Uh, this makes a minus Z forward projection matrix. Minus Z forward is a super dumb and confusing standard, but it's what most people use. In the engine, we use X forward for everything and apply a fix up to the projection matrix returned here to swizzle around the result of the X forward view matrix. Minus Z forward. X forward. So what does that mean? They swizzle it for X forward, right? So in the rendering interface where I define my forward vector, X forward I one would work. So essentially, if I want to use W to move in front, in the main, I need to use the X coordinate here. Plus and then for D, no, on S it's D, uh, X, and then on A and this, A, A and D, but that's dumb. But that's really dumb because X forward, really? And then what is Y? Is Y? Yeah, X and Y are screen and Z is deaf into screen. Yeah, why? Why? Wait. I think there was matrix J. Uh, there was a boolean here that can say def range or oh no. It just this was 3D style. Hack is just stuck A in here to put things in the right way. Clean this up. The projection matrix uses Z forward. The comments only says that X forward is better, not that the function uses it. You sure? In the engine we use... In the engine, we use X forward for everything and apply a fix up to the projection matrix returned here to swizzle around the result of the X forward view matrix. So it is Z forward still. All right. I mean, if they don't like it, that's okay. That's their own preference. Everyone can have their preference. But I'd rather have this. Fine. So, that means it works. Good. No need to change that. Minus Z is forward. Minus Z. So, we do minus and then plus on S. Fine. And you are in the zero coordinate. I am in the zero coordinate. Yes. So, I would assume... Uh... 
I want to test something, guys. Um, GL renderer. Let's try to calculate the other projection matrix again. See if that works. So guys, the big problem is that we don't have shading, right? We don't have texturing going on, so we can't see the sides. Um, let's test this again. Launch. Okay. Mesh viewer. Aha. Difficult to see here. Really difficult to see. I need a fly cam. How do I get out of this? Oh god. What the fuck is this? Oh god. What do I see here, guys? Uh, this doesn't look like a cube, right? Also, where is the camera? Did you do a hypercube by accident? I don't know, man. I just took stuff from the internet yesterday. Looks like a 40 cube. It's... Tesseract, it seems like you are inside the cube. Yeah, I'm inside the cube. End the stream quick. Before we all die. <laughs> huh? I'm so confused here. It's normal. Even I rarely read them. But the thing is, they are, they are mature and still maturing. They are... And they are relatively simple in uh, no way an X, but they, they are easy to learn. Cakes, if you're interested in why the event logs files weren't created, because you have OS on US region and the date represented like that, but the slash also directory separator. Oh, I see. <sighs> it looks like you need to convert the... You need to convert the date then. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have... But that's good learning, right? <laughs> All right, we, we do another one. We do we use the other one, the other projection. Maybe that's it. Or maybe it's actually these positions, guys. Maybe it's these positions. What do you think? Could it be those positions? Looks the same to me, to be honest. Yeah, so guys, I, what I get from this is that my stuff works. It's just the, the wrong model, the wrong cube, the wrong points. I need better points. These points suck ass and the indices suck ass. That's what I get from this, you know. Let me see. Control H, uh, cube. What did I search yesterday? Mm. Mm. Did I not search it on this? Did I search it on the other one? Let me see here. Um, control H GitHub Guys, I clicked on a fucking Reddit link yesterday. Where the fuck is that? Reddit Okay, so it's basically the 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 the, the browser your points suck? Yeah, I'm trying to get good points, bro. 
This is like school all over again, man. I try my best and I never get any good points. C++ render cube points. Drawing a cube. I need points. See, this guy has these points too. Coordinates. Close. See that? I'm not the only one, bro. Check the mesh viewer. Yeah, I did. I did check the mesh viewer, but in render dock, the mesh viewer, I don't have input. Right? There is no input. Let me show you. Because I don't use vertex attributes. I remember, I think the vertices came from one file and the indices from another. Did they match? Looks like they don't. No. Uh. Yeah, but like Reddit. See, it's not here. So it wasn't open there. But I only have this other monitor, this other thing. Control H, and then I do Reddit. Doesn't find anything. Like I never went on Reddit or something. So like I can absolutely not figure out what I found yesterday. Because the browser is dog shit. <clears throat> King Seeker Dark Souls. It was for fucking YouTube thumbnail. Are you stupid? Perfect woman in search history can't uh, miss this cakes. I can't won't be happy. Perfect woman. Like, listen, I don't know. Um, so yeah, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know which one it was. So it was Reddit cube points or something. How many cubes? Programming. I've got cube making explore. How do I add points? Uh, or was it Reddit or draw? Draw cube using code Reddit. Oh my god. C or something. Ah! Drawing cube! No, I just searched that. Dude! I don't even delete my browser history and I can't find it anymore. Are you kidding me, bro? Move the camera back a bit. We need indices and points. Hello, Mapier. Good morning. Do the same thing you did when you played Darkest Dungeon. Do what you're good at. Give up like usual. I am so wanna ban this guy, man. I so wanna fucking ban this guy. I so wanna fucking ban this fucking toxic piece of shit. Look at this guy. Like usual, give up. Oh. Bite the bullet and set them in uh, indices manually, one side at a time, dot dot dot. And when did I get, give up, bitch? You're supposed to not have shit points. Yeah, but like... Truth equals ban? Yeah, sure, bro. It's not the truth. What are your mod actions? Oh, I timed him out multiple times. See that? See, like this guy pissed me off many times in the past. You see that? Even 2022, he already pissed me off. He's been trying to piss me off for almost two years now. It's a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's been trying to do that, okay? What are we doing? We're trying to draw a cu cube using code. And I had a post yesterday from Reddit that gave me it was a paste bin. I remember it was a paste bin.
it's not here it's not here primed and ready my man thank you vani for following bro i can give you my cube if you want god damn it oh my god i'm a fucking dumbass wait wait i can only move one the other one is my twitch console guys when you do here and you do control h then you can go for all i found it i found it oh no okay there we go guys there we go there it is there's the cube oh thank god Oh yeah. So guys, I have a question as well. If I want to have a cube with a texture, right? How can I easily... Guys, can you please help me for a second? Those of you who have done 3D stuff. The, you, we can see the texture coordinates here, right? I can add the texture coordinates really quickly. Right, the indices, the texture indices. Not sure... These are six. I'm not sure how that works, though. How does that work? Vertex buffer, vertices, indices, texture buffer. How does that work? Times two? Oh god, that's... Ah, uh, I have to duplicate the vertices because normals and texture coordinates are different. You have to duplicate the vertices. Can't I just add the data, the texture? Like, can't I just add the texture data to this? Like, for example, this one will, like, the vertex will also have the texture data associated to it. You can do it all in one buffer. Yeah, why not just do it there, like that, right? It's easier. Unrolled loops are hard for you, for our boy cakes. Shut up. It's already like four hours, almost five, okay? My brain is starting to get cooked, bitch. And it's not actually that simple, okay? You're not the one programming. I am, little bitch. So, yeah, how about we do the points first, right? All right, so we have minus one. Whoops. All right, now we need to manually adjust those because we need to be cool, of course. That's what cool people do when they code, right? They align. Did I delete this? Takes maybe a little break from coding to update the bot. No. 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 Missing a point. Wait, do I miss a point? It's supposed to be eight, right? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't miss a point. That was before. Okay, cool. Now. We use the projection matrix from Jonathan Blow. Oh. For a cube, there's no real point in drawing indexed. This is where you're wrong, bro. This is where you're wrong. Because we're going to draw many cubes. Not just one. It's Minecraft we're talking about. We are drawing many cubes. Many cubes. Okay? So that is a lot. Okay? 
here. Plus later you want to draw only the visible sides of the cube anyway, so think of a plane where you only see the one side. Uh, some chatters were also saying that you have a problem with one of your matrices. Camera offset or something? Guys, do I have a problem with my camera? Which one? The view matrix? Make look at matrix? X is forward. True. Wait. X is forward is wrong. So we need to do false here, right? The look at matrix. Please delete the camera position X and Y from the perspective. Why would that go there? The projection. The offset here. I thought that was the position of the camera. Is that not it? But where do I add the position of the camera? In the view matrix? Wait, it's in the view matrix, you're right. Yeah, you, I'm stupid. I have the position here. So what am I supposed to do here? The offsets, nothing? Huh. Oh, I thank you, man. Thank you very much. You got life. Camera position is already included. Okay, cool. And then we don't have the... Uh, whatever that's called, right? The x axis forward true we set that to false because then z is forward right minus z okay we're getting somewhere guys it would be so cool if it works now please please work please work The look at point needs to be camera position plus forward. I see. And then we have the camera up. Does Jay have a smart pointer like feature? Are you using the correct projection matrix function? Yes, I am using it here. Are you using... No, I'm not using the old... Yeah, it's world space, not local. Mm -hmm. Now it's difficult to say whether this works or not because it's just red. Which means I would love to put the camera by default a little bit back, right? So if Z is forward and back, then maybe we do minus 10. Oh wait, that would be in front, right? Is minus 10 in front here? So maybe 10 in front, 10 back. But I'm not in the thing. That's what I find weird. It doesn't do anything if it's whether it's 10 or 100. It feels like the position is not used at all. Minus 10 is front, so 100 would be back. See that? I could even do a thousand. Or let's move it 200 to the right. Isn't this J simp? It doesn't do anything. It's not even taking this into account. It seems the look at doesn't use the position, which is weird because it should. Let me, let me check. Doesn't compile. Holy shit. It doesn't compile. Were you telling me it doesn't compile? Holy shit. My man. Thank you so much for 500 bits, bro. <laughs> shit. 
This is different, okay? We are building this together. We are building this together like a team. This is a teamwork effort, okay? So you're wrong, bro. I sure it doesn't compile, you say. But it does. See? It compiles. Wait, linking it. It was open in render dog the entire time, bro. Like two times. It works this time. 100%. Please work, please. PLEASE! Please try 002 and 001. For forward, 002. And for position and zero minus one for forward. Okay. Fuck. Hate this shit. Fucking hate this shit. Hate it. Now move around. Give me a second. You know what? We, we, we will use render dog. One more time. One more time. One more time. Please work. Please work. F12. Look at this cube, guys. It's totally squashed. Are you sure that I'm calculating it correctly? Huh? Remember to not close it. VSN? Guys, I cannot do VSN. I don't have vertex attributes. The projection matrix might be messed. Messed. Projection. Guys, I'm gonna try my inverse projection now. I will try the inverse projection. Are you ready? Are you ready for the inverse projection? Because that's gonna work now. 100%. Oh yeah, I tested it multiple times. It works. It's odd. It's odd. Hmm. Why is it called the inverse projection? Because projection uses a range from 0 to 1 to... Uh, determine whether something is visible and not visible. Like, so basically you have a depth of zero to run, while in front is zero and in the back is one. And what they found was it was more difficult to... And uh, usually what happens with this normal projection is you get Z fighting in games with a very high visibility range. So essentially something very far away from your camera, zero point, very close to the one point, since because of floating point in precision you get z fighting because the calculations for how far away an object is become imprecise and then some objects are sometimes drawn in front and sometimes behind and so as you move around these objects fight to be in front and that's called z fighting the z axis is what you look along and the fighting happens because sometimes it's in front and sometimes it's in the back. And so what they did was they took this value from 0 to 1 far away 
and swapped it around so that they have more precision starting from zero and going down. Basically, it's easier to approximate something very close to zero, apparently using floating points, than it is to, appro to uh, approximate something that is close to one. Listen, man, I'm not the mathematician. I don't know exactly how that is worked, but that's essentially the inverse projection matrix. It inverses that thing. You don't really have to do it for normal games. Uh, that's just what I did and learned back then. And so, oh wow, wait, that looks like a cube to me, R right, or not, kind of looks wrong, what is this long line, what, this actually looks like a cube guys, I feel like I'm in a cube here, see that? Your projection matrix doesn't count for the camera, account for the camera position, and maybe the look at also doesn't translate as well. That's a fucked up cube. No, that's because of the viewport, I think. What? Is that because of the viewport? You can also do vertex color for testing, maybe? Yeah, but how should I do that? We can. Cube in 40 space. No, guys, look. Here, I'll show you. See those different walls? Huh? Yeah, you see that? It goes there. Just like how you did the vertex position, for instance, at E, just using colors instead. Can we do this here? We can't, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Position. Output. Texture coordinates. Can't we just do an output vec4? Vertex color. And then we have a vertex vertex color in. Oh. It's a vector four. And then vertex color is vec four. And we just use like GL vertex ID times I don't know man, what are you supposed <laughs> Random abgerübster. That's not called inverse projection matrix. That is a reverse Z. I learned it as a inverse projection. Maybe it's not exactly that, but that's what I learned it as. Oh, when I hear inverse projection, I think of projection the mouse into the scene for picking different thing. Then make one of your matrix identity and fix uh, one of the view or projection. Okay, let's try to fix the projection. Uh, wait. <sighs> let's first get colors in. So we see some different colors. How can we use different tones of red and blue? Vertex ID. I want to multiply this by some color. So how many vertices do we have? Let's just hard code this really quickly. Eight, right? We have eight vertices. So we uh, divide that by eight. That turns it into a float, right? And then, then that. Wait a minute, let me think. So that gives us a value between 0 and 1, and then we divide 255 by that. No, we divide 1 by that. 
that is 4x and then we do wait uh, float random color is this yeah guys random color one minus random color and the other one is just one one there we go <laughs> now does that work or not i can't really tell because I, it doesn't let me move the camera out wait is it still running it's not running Let's try to do 10 and see if it has something changed. The speed is very slow, so the camera might not move much. Mm -hmm. Maybe we are inside. I don't know. It's weird. Front is making the camera look to the left, mate. Yeah, your front needs to be minus one, right? I don't know, but let's see. Maybe. It can't, yeah, wait. It can't do that right now. Okay, so with which coordinate is your camera facing? To be honest, I don't know. It's been such a long time, bro doesn't say doesn't do anything so basically five like at some point it should move the camera out of the box should it eh wondering did you set up OpenGL debug layers not sure if they back ported from Vulkan and then why is it disappearing at 10 that's also weird You see it like it goes completely and then it's gone maybe minus 10 oh my god shit i think you calculate look at wrong it's clipped i calculate look at wrong how The games industry doesn't matter. Use the inverse projection matrix in the view matrix in place of look at for debugging. Um, what do you mean? I, I let's not use the view matrix at all. Not use this, Ash. And just use this but I mean I need to multiply this in the vertex shader right I need to multiply that here view is the inverse translate camera position uh, right Translate a vector. Translate. I didn't even know that there is a translate function. That's cool. Thank you. But it takes in a matrix, does it? It takes in a matrix or is it using? Matrix 4 is a must. What does that mean? Result is M. Apply a translation to a given matrix. Just set the view to identity. Make translation matrix. Make translation matrix. And that takes a vector too. Okay. Alright, view, like this, 
Like this. Hashtag must means you cannot ignore the return value. Okay. The baker, thank you. If he sets the view to identity, isn't the right side, isn't he right inside the cube? Geo context, camera position. Minus? You would need to be minus? Why minus? Negative the... Okay, why? Holy shit, you guys are crazy! Uh, it feels like a, like a bunch of five heads just run. Why minus? That's insane. Okay. Doesn't do much. I mean, we can use the normal uh, projection, right? The typical projection. Are you sure? Wait. Are you sure that this projection... Is this projection correct? Maybe, guys. Maybe it's this, actually. The field of view. What should I put here? Which number? 90? Or do I need to put something like 1.2, 2.3, like radiance? What do I put here? Radiance or something else? Moving the camera means moving the world in the opposite way. Oh yeah, that, I mean, that, that makes sense. I don't think your view matrix is being uploaded to the shader. You think it's not uploaded? Well, maybe not. Maybe you're right. Kilograms? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I knew this was going to happen for someone. How long is your far plane one unit away? Yeah, Ramis. That is, it is. Is that bad? Should I like make a much higher far plane? 1.5 rat will do. So see, there's more stuff going on here. Use a thousand? Oh, I see. It will I thought it was just between zero and, uh, and one. Okay. I think you should draw just a triangle. It would be easier to debug the camera with non squarish objects. True. And I have field of view of 70 here. You said 1.5. So let's use 1.5. Check the values of the V matrix and render dog. Yep. We can use this here, pipeline state, vertex shader. Uniforms. Click on this. Uh, this is the view matrix. Um, I don't know if that's wrong or not, but it looks like it's just minus one away. Wrong diagonal? Should it be in this way? This looks right, by the way. It should use one. So this is. It's doing this? But why? I didn't do anything. Maybe it's the faults here? The view matrix is broken, but it's, it's using J's. Wait, maybe this. So now the view matrix looks like this. It's the identity matrix. Because I didn't translate the position yet. Guys, I feel verarscht. Ich fühle mich verarscht von Jay. Weißt du? Ist lächerlich. 10. Wait. Projection ID. View ID is 1. It does find the view ID. It sets the floats of the view ID as well. How about look at damn signature and understand function arguments? Shut the fuck up. I did, Glorious Sir. Okay, that's fucking toxic. I did. And 10 should be transponded. 
So your Z uh, coordinate. It is here. This is correct. Here, it is. And I, 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 can, I know that this is correct. Projection matrix 4x4 is scale, if I remember correctly. And it's set to 0. And it should be a 1. It is a 1 here. It doesn't seem to... Use... The floats correctly. For some reason, yeah. In the shader. It doesn't put it here. Maybe there is errors in render doc. No, it says no problems detected. Wait, guys, there is 10 here. No, guys, it is correct. See this? It is using it correctly, guys. Look at this, 10. So it is working. It's gotta be something else. Oh, hello. Hi, Kebab. Hi from Kebab Skulls channel. Hello there, Milestone. Good morning. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, guys. We are currently trying uh, out to make a camera fly. You need to transpose, I think. So basically... Uh, That's cringe, you know. That is cringe, you know. You might want to check the face culling too and whether the cube is copy-pasted, has clockwise, counterclockwise indices. Hello, Kebab Skull. How is your game coming along? Good morning. Wishlist Ocean Mirror. Saying this as a fan. fan. <sighs> Guys, I'm really confused. Like, it would be cool if something shows up, but nothing shows. How about instead of going back by minus 10, we instead go back by, let's say, minus 1. Wait, shouldn't this be 1 then? Wait, what is front? Front is minus and then 2 would be back, right? That's actually correct. This should be the correct values first. Let's fix those, right? For the normal view matrix, this should be correct. Right? Aha. And then if I go back, it's completely gone. The moment I move back, watch. See? It's just completely in there or not? Transpose the projection as well. I don't want to transpose the projection, but fine. We're going to transpose the projection because OpenGL sucks, bro. OpenGL tracks fucking six, bro. Well, oops. It's not OpenGL. I think it's actually J. They use different things. Milestones, thank you very much for following. I'm gonna make some food for the kid. Take it easy, folks. Oh, man. <gasps> There's no way. Wait a minute, so wait a minute, wait a minute, because this is J, I need to transpose the matrices, column versus row, cube achieved, game done, <laughs> huh? yay, sorry, it works. They probably use D3D semantics. Guys, watch this. Watch this. Watch. That looks odd. Thought it would be much better. Oh, I know why. Is it? Is it? Uh, wait. Wait. Hey. Face culling. Only nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand cubes to go. Inside-out cube. 
you you already have a game here to speed run how quickly can you move the cube out of the view <laughs> is it inside out i don't think so to be honest let me check i don't think it is no what is on top that looks odd my guess is GL enable GL dev test. I do though. Now use the look at matrix instead of the translation matrix. Okay, fine. Let's use the look at matrix. So the view matrix, right? And then uh, did we change something here? Look at position plus front camera up, okay? Well, um, um, what? Clear the def buffer. What the fuck? You guys think it's because of the death buffer? Front faults? And look at Matrix? Yeah, right. True. True. And then uh, the death buffer has to be cleared as well, right? We don't clear that. Well, we do. I clear the def and the color. I do though, bro. Aha! It works! Disable face culling. We're gonna run it every frame. Then the Z axis could be backwards in the projection. It just looks weird, maybe because of my colors, guys. It could be because of my colors. That I choose weird ass colors. I don't think it is, but yeah. Looks weird, right? It's probably the inverse the Z thing. No, but I'm not using that, bro. It could be revealed by shading the cube. Oh, shy. The stream has the no backseating tag. Yeah, yeah, but for games, for games. Okay, programming is fine. That's totally okay, bro. Mm. Look at it in render doc. Fine, we'll take a look here. No, not safe. F12. Let's see here. Mesh viewer. It's difficult to see this, man. What is this? Goodness. This looks counterclockwise. It is definitely a counterclockwise. Ah, I see. It looks correct. It's a counterclockwise rotation. Flip only the vertex x values, so 1 to minus 1. And minus 1 to 1. Then that's uh, clockwise, really? So every time I have a minus 1, I set it to 1. And every time I have a 1, I set it to minus 1. Okay, that's crazy. That's some actual five head struts. Needs to be reverse of this. If using GL. Let's see. Nah, it looks weird too. You could just reverse the winding order. Guys, I don't understand any of this. What does winding order mean? Hello, my man, Majestic Lego. Thank you very much for being a supporter on YouTube. I really appreciate it, bro. 
Guys, it's the same. GL clear def 1, GL compare uh, less. Okay, fine. Whoops, that's the wrong function. Um, this is when you don't have IntelliSense, you know. GLDEF function, ah, it's called GLDEF function. Basic disable back face culling is a quick test for the front face option above or if it's the Z thing, disable depth function. Uh, Geo depth function greater. So reverse the winding order front face. What the fuck is this? Um... Not sure why they all have the same color. That shouldn't happen. That looks right though. I think. Looks better, Emo. Yeah. Told you something funny going on with them. The colors cakes. Yeah, but what do you mean? Shouldn't that be like eight different colors? You know what? This one is red, this one is yellow. Right, red and green together is yellow, I think. Um, then this one is all of them on, so that would be white. This one is just green, I guess. Then this one is this. We basically do a zigzag, yeah. Then when we are here, we just have this on. And I suppose this is just the duplication of... I mean, this could be black. And then I guess we have the duplication of this. Alright, so let's try colors then. Wait. Token. I forgot. There needs to be a semicolon. And then uh, syntax error. Unexpected identifier. Expecting. Oh yeah, and we don't have commas, of course. And maybe there's one too many commas now. Oh! Aha! Okay. So that is easier to debug, right? Good. Now we have this cube. 1 divided by 8 times vertex ID. 1 divided by 8 times vertex ID. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the bottom. That looks correct to me. So, guys, I have a question though. One last question. Then we can call this camera actually finished. And I'm very proud of this camera. Um, why the fuck do I need to transverse in transpose inverse? 
everything. Why? Why do I need to disable cull facing and then do left less def function? Because I'm not using the inverse projection matrix. Faces were culled. Yeah, but why? Maybe J's matrices are opposite order of OpenGL. They should be per vertex, not per face. You should have some. Because of how the projection matrix is defined. Wrong vertex order, probably. The projection matrix from J, how this is defined. So the J's projection matrix is also inverse. Is J using an inverse Z axis? To fight Z fighting or something? It kind of looks like my inverse. Let me check, check something. I don't understand the coding system at all. You can draw in paint maybe. Can you draw it in paint maybe? I'm not sure I can bro. <laughs> I'm not sure I can. You need to transpose because matrices from J are Ray Mod major while OpenGL wants color major. Yeah, okay, I understand that, right? I do get that. If backface culling is on, only the front is drawn or the back, depending on what you said, which is defined by the winding order. Yeah, which can also be configured. As a wise man said, computer graphics is the art of making an even number of sign errors. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Okay, so this inverse projection matrix doesn't do anything. This. So I guess we'll keep that fine and we'll keep this by two and then minus one in the z-axis front. How many hours to put a cube on screen? Did someone count? Shut the fuck up. It's like five hours, okay? It's only for me. Does the does anyone else have the same problem where YouTube chat uh, window loads like 15 seconds? Uh, YouTube is dog shit. That's why. Is Unity worth using, Robin Hoodstar? Yes, I think it is. You can ask the very successful creator of a difficult game about climbing about YouTube. And he would probably agree with you, bro. Um, no, what I don't understand is... Okay, we don't cull faces anymore, right? Let's just cull them, right? We don't disable the cull facing. Why do we have to disable... Why do we have to do less? So it looks like they inverse. Also. Cakes, you need to do the opposite of the def because the projection matrix is defined such that zero is close to the camera while one is far away from the camera, which is standard in direct 3D. I see. So... Okay, fine. No, I want to understand this. Uh, actually want to understand this. I see. Anything that is less will be taken and discarded means anything that is greater. The GLDEF function discards anything that is greater. Wait, zero is close to the camera? No, wait, the DEF function, right? If I say GL less, doesn't that mean discard everything that is less or keep everything that is less? What does that function say? GLDEF function specifies 
the death comparison function symbolizing never less equal equal greater uh, accepted death function specifies the function used to compare each incoming pixel death value with the death value present in the death buffer the comparison is performed only if the death testing is enabled yeah okay but what is discarded uh, less passes if the incoming death value is less so that means it discards less that makes no sense so if this is discarding pixels that are less no then then it makes sense yeah that makes sense now it actually makes sense it should discard pixels that are less because zero is far away i get it now okay cool very nice No, it keeps pixels that are less. GLS passes if the incoming def value is less than the stored def value. No. It's about passing, not discarding. Oh, I see. So wait. If it's less, then it takes it. If it's greater, then it discards it. Okay. Since one is far away, it should discard pixels that are further away. Yeah, passes. Yeah, listen, guys. In German, we say pass for ich passe. Ich passe. Na, ja, ich passe. Na, ah, kein Bock. Ich passe. It means we don't do it. Okay, so that's why I thought. I see it now. Okay, I can, I can understand. All right. I get it now. All right, and then we do the def function gl less. We keep pixels def values that are less than stored. There we go. I'll pass, thanks. Yeah, see, that's the same in English, bro. Hello there. Hello, Sleepy Mushroom. Good morning. Yeah, it takes a while for me too. YouTube couldn't care less about it streaming. Yeah, YouTube doesn't care about streaming. It is. Uh, GLS is default. Yes, but I'll still keep it there, bro. It's fine. And so then we clear the def to one. Shouldn't we clear the def to zero? No, we need to clear the def to one because we keep everything that's less. That makes sense, yeah. Clear def to one. Because we keep everything that is less. Cool. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate the help. Without you guys, I might not have been able to make this simple camera. So I really appreciate that. And that means we can now have the calculation of those in there. And we don't need the inverse projection at the moment. We can do that later. Cool. You shall not pass unless you pass me the pass. If we clear def to zero, nothing passes. Yeah, that's true. Cool. So what we made today is now not that much, but at least we have a cube now that we can take a look at. And that is the first step of drawing minecraft cubes and so what i would like to do tomorrow and that brings me to my to-do list which i have opened still right here we have drawn a cube check mark do that now we can fly around with the camera did that too and then tomorrow texture the cube using a texture atlas now that is going to be a bit more difficult one small step for my man giant step for coding true that is going to be a bit more difficult because we will need to index into different texture coordinates depending on what we need 